Okay, so we're in Filmic Pro once again, and I wanted to show you something called stitching. And I'm actually just using the Filmic Pro camera for this on me so that we can kind of understand that. So what is stitching? Let's say you're out at the football game or you're watching something where there's like a play and then it stops and there's a play and then it stops. Well, maybe you don't want to have a bunch of little tiny clips because you're starting and stopping everything. Filmic Pro has something called stitching. So we're gonna go into the gear icon really quick. And then inside of uh, device, you're gonna scroll down a little bit and you're gonna see stitch recorded footage. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna allow us to, to pause and start and pause and start. And when we're done, we're gonna hold it for a second to completely shut it off. And that's gonna give us one clip of the entire thing we did. So let's test it out. Okay, so we're gonna turn on stitch recorded footage. I'm gonna get out of the menu and we're back here. And so I'm ready to start shooting. So I'm filming the game and I'm ready to go. I'm gonna press the start button. Here's the first play that's going on. It went a couple of seconds and I'm gonna pause it. So now you can see right here, there's a pause instead of the white button or the red button. So it's just a pause. So now I'm gonna do it again and no notice that we're going five, six, seven, eight. And now I'm gonna pause it again. And there we go. So now we're at 10. And now the next play is ready to go. We're gonna press it again, 12, 13, 14. And now that's fantastic. We're catching everything. And then when I'm done, instead of pressing the pause button, I'm gonna hold the button for a couple of seconds. And there it shows the, uh, the video that we just shot all stitched together. And now I'll open it up right here. And we'll take a look at it. Here's the first play that's and there you go. So you notice the little stops and goes in that video, and that's how easy it is to do. It's a great camera app to use when shooting sports, and I highly recommend it, or for anything that you wanna just um, shoot and, and not have to stop and have a ton of clips on your device. Maybe it's, especially like sporting events, if you have a really long football game, you know, you don't wanna go, you know, stop and, and have just a billion clips, and then you don't remember which clips they are. The other thing is uh, something that we talked about in a previous lesson is to go into the CMS uh, area here and uh, and do content management and then title it. You know, this is a Friday night football game. Uh, maybe it's um, first quarter or whatever. And you can do things like that and put it in there so that you have better um, names on your footage when you're done. Okay, I hope this helps everybody.